I'm Libra. Welcome to our channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. Oh, it's your twin flame, you guys. That's why this is so emotional. Oh, shoot. That's why this is so emotional. You guys are dealing with a twin flame. Okay, make this shit up. I wonder what this is going to be like. Okay, take a step back. So this could be somebody walked away from this. That's why this is somebody walked away from this connection. Okay. Eight of Cups energy. So this could be an emotional time. Somebody's annoyed with though. Somebody's pretty or somebody's angry about something here. It could be angry that you turned your back on them. If you, you know, blocked communication, stopped speaking with them, walked away from them. Ooh. All right, somebody wants forgiveness. Okay, forgiveness and healing. You could be in this energy of, you know what, saying, I forgive you. I'm just, but I'm still going to walk away. I'm going to go off on my own journey. Okay, alone, by myself. This is the vibes that I'm getting. Somebody took a step back so they could heal. Show me what else. Yeah, they did. Somebody got their freedom and walked away. Or somebody is getting their freedom and they're walking away. Yeah, the Divine Feminine did. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. This is like, this is a very clear message here. This is a very clear message. Mm, you could be a Divine Feminine and still be a male, by the way, okay? Just you put yourself where it fits. Oh, okay. Dark night of the soul. So the this, this divine feminine is the person who's going through a dark night of the soul right now. Um, and I almost couldn't talk and just got really emotional. I feel like that's this is the energy. You know, so the divine feminine could be the one that's healing right now. And in this and in this energy. <clears throat> Or, you know, this could be a person too. I don't know. You just, you know what you're going through right now, you guys. Show me what else. All right. Yeah. Yeah. This dark night of the soul that you're going through, if you're the divine feminine, is really bringing in some healing and some growth and expansion in your life. You're seeing things from a different perspective. Yeah. So Spirit is saying, be gentle with yourself right now. Because this is like a really tender moment. If you aren't being gentle with yourself, be gentle with yourself, okay? So, yeah, see while you're on this journey, okay? Be gentle with yourself while you're on this journey. Yeah. So, the summertime, you know, there's something very significant coming in for you. I feel like in the summertime, you guys, something very significant. Some of y'all could be thinking about the memories, the past, right? Those past hurts wounds okay those past connections all right i feel like this is all your energy basically if you're the divine feminine show me how the divine masculine feels about this divine feminine in this situation Okay, they feel like you are beautiful, number one, queen of wands. You could be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Yeah. Queen of wands is somebody who is confident, somebody who stands on their power. And there's that black cat again. This is the second time we see a black cat. Right? Somebody could have a black cat. Or you, you're, you are this person that's going through this dark night of the soul process. So there's more confirmation on that. Somebody feels like you're sitting up on your high horse, though. I don't know where that came from. Show me how this person feels. How does this person feel? What about the divine feminine? The star. Yeah, that, that you're very attractive and confident and strong. And they know that you're in this energy of healing. Okay. They want to try to heal this with you, okay? You are a wish fulfillment to this person on every level. You could be dealing with a, an Aquarius, okay? 
for Scorpio. I just got Scorpio. Sorry, sorry, James Aquarius. Maybe too many. Let's see, Justice. Somebody here. I'm gonna take these: the Lovers card and the and then uh, Justice. So somebody here could be a Gemini or a Libra, but yeah, they see you as this is very strong, passionate, strong chemistry here. A very strong connection, okay? They feel like you made the decision to do the right thing for yourself. You chose, they feel like you chose yourself. Yeah. They feel like this connection is divine. They feel like this connection provides a lot of balance and healing and hope. You know, that's what you gave this person. Passion, chemistry, attraction, inside and outside. So this person is like really physically attracted to you, your body, but your and your beauty, or if you're handsome, but also they're they're obviously they're very attracted to your body by the way, but like they also see you as this healer. Look at that. Bottom of the deck is the emperor, Aries energy. Yeah, look at what's next to this. I ah, damn, I cannot make this up. They feel like this is a divine connection. Sorry, can y'all see that? The, this emperor is looking at this emperor's like, yeah, I know who you are. I know who you are. You're my divine counterpart, temperance. You're my divine counterpart. I know you were sent to me from the divine. I know you, my spirit guides and my ancestors are bringing us closer together. They know this connection is healing and, and it's balancing. Temperance, Sagittarius energy, Aries energy, Taurus energy with the empress. Or you could be dealing with a cancer. This is a lot of major arcana cards. The chariot and the moon. A lot. And they're watching you also. They're hiding and lurking behind something. They could be hiding and lurking. Because, you know, the page of swords next to the moon is somebody hiding and lurking. Watching and stalking. Somebody, what you know, doesn't want to want you to see how sad they are. They don't want just want you to see how they're in this four of cups energy. Okay. <laughs> that is funny. I'm glad I looked underneath that deck. Let's see what the blockages are between you and your person. What are the blockages here between <laughs> this divine masculine and this divine feminine, please? What are the blockages? Somebody's bad habits, somebody's toxic ways. Somebody's toxic traits, somebody's negative mindset, somebody's bad behaviors, maybe somebody's friends. I don't know. Maybe somebody's habits. Maybe, you know, you people are, I don't believe that people are toxic on their own. I really don't. I, I feel like people, those are coping mechanisms from, from some form of trauma, experience or exposure. You know what I'm saying? Something they experience or a lack thereof. What are the blockages? Oh, some, someone can may have mental illness here. Okay. You know, or someone here, if this person doesn't have mental illness, I feel like they use excuses to do certain things. You know, this person's constantly apologizing for things when they knew what they were doing wrong in the first place. So this person knew what they were doing when they were doing it, basically. Okay, they don't care. This person wants what they want. Okay. For some of y'all, somebody could have anger issues. Everybody's going to be different, right? But I have to talk about it if I see it. <clears throat> Blockages are that this person may be a little bit jealous of you. If you're divine feminine and you walked away, you're doing your healing and you're looking good. This person does, is, I'm telling you, feeling like you're in this star and this queen of wands energy. They think you're the shit. They think you look great. They think you're doing great. So you 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 look great on the inside and the outside. So you guys have been focusing on your stability, your abundance. You could be working on a business here. I don't even know why this card came out. It says sometimes I get so nervous around you that I don't that I don't speak at all. I'm trying to work on work on that. So yeah, you see how this card does not belong in this deck, but it came flying out as I was saying. Your, your this blockages 
you're looking good on the outside and inside, but you're focusing your, on your abundance or on your business or you're focusing on yourself and you're leveling up. I mean, you're healing. <clears throat> it wasn't easy, but you were. And now this person, like, this energy comes out, which tells me, like, this person feels like you, they were a little bit intimidated by you. This energy, I don't feel like that. I feel like this energy was intimidating to them and it was new to them. They didn't know how to take it because they have been dealing with low vibrational people. Your person have been dealing with low vibrational karmics. Show me the blockages here. Yeah, it's somebody's fake religious beliefs. Somebody's hanging on to some fake religious beliefs here. I feel like these beliefs are stale, outdated. They need to be changed. They're karmic. Yeah. Somebody, the blockages, this person has some insecurities. They feel like you get a lot of attention. That's a blockage here. They're concerned about other people wanting you or, or you know, you leaving them for other people. I guarantee you this is the energy that's coming out. Little insecurity. Show me the blockages, please. Blockages. Thank you. Oh, the blockages, physical block. Okay, some of you guys have this person like on literal block. They cannot call you. Okay, you don't want to talk to them. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> oh, Spirit is so funny tonight. <clears throat> I don't know why these cards are mixed up in here. This person wants to be craved by you. They want, they, yeah, this person, I'm telling you, they're thinking about kissing you, your body. This person is definitely reminiscing on the love y'all made, okay? <laughs> this person is reminiscing on your body. That's part of the problem. Part of the problem is person is obsessed with like something physically. They're physically, so physically attracted to you. You know, the queen of wands, the star, and the lover, somebody's extremely attracted to you. But see, I don't know who this is that's always talking about you. It's like somebody's, there are some people around this person or your person or you who just are talking so much trash or spreading rumors or like somebody, your name is always in somebody's mouth, like. Or in somebody's mouth around your person. It seems to be more than one person here. Concerned about how good you're looking. <laughs> or what you're doing. Or what you may not be doing. I don't know. Yeah, see, snooping. All in your business. Obsessing. Watching you. Pay Remember that was that page of storage and energy. Obsessive behavior, yeah. Somebody is talking. I don't know who's talking. Somebody is gossiping and have has a lot to say about you. Somebody cannot stop talking about you. Literally. Someone thinks they can control you, the people, or the situation here, okay? So this could be somebody here who is saying things to try to control a certain situation or get certain information. I don't know who this is or I don't... I do feel like there's some other energy in here, but I'm not even going to go into that today. So, yeah. Show me what the divine masculine wants to say to the divine feminine, please. They've been dreaming of you and thinking about you all day long. Okay. Yeah, look at this. Two cards of them dreaming about you. They dreamt about you last night, collective. You were in my dreams last night. Look at this. I've been dreaming of you even when I'm wide awake. Wow. Wow. They probably dreamt about having sex with you too. They said, please wait for me. You bring out a smile in me that nobody else can. Mm-hmm. Let's, oh, you could never lose me. I'm yours for all eternity. Yeah, this person is low-key obsessed. I mean, and it makes total sense here because this person is your twin, okay? So, like, wait, can y'all see that? Yeah. This person is your twin. 
that that's why. Mm-hmm. I mean, good for you that you're healing. Um, I love y'all. The signs I saw here were Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, Aquarius. You're signed to be anybody though. Um, and I'll pull some zodiac signs. Okay. Aries. Yeah, we saw Taurus too. We saw Aries and Taurus. Leo. Aries again. Pisces. Virgo. Taurus. Capricorn. Scorpio. All right. I love you guys. That was your reading. Hit the like button if you need a personal reading. That information is below in the description box, you guys.